Hey everybody, welcome back to Make Money Coaching Sports. I'm your success coach, Coach Jim Swift for Sports Performance Coaching. And today we're going to be talking about how I've grown my business over the last seven years. Okay, So as you know, it does not come easy. Uh, there's a lot of frustrations and things that I did wrong starting off, uh, mistakes and things I simply just did not know when jumping in. Um, my trade is, you know, sets and reps, you know, sprint technique, plyometrics. That's that's my background. OK, so even though I have a business minor, doing the hands on work for the business is a lot different. OK, and um, I had prior experience uh, that got me going, but I was never uh, fully in charge. So I never had a lot of things in place. So since then, one way I have grown is the systems are in place for when parents, and I use social media a lot, parents will DM me or athlete will DM me. And instead of trying to have a big, long um, conversation back and forth where they're asking me about what I do, I ask them what they uh, do for sports and what they need to work on, all that kind of stuff, what my prices are, I automatically say, can we get to a phone call um, or even an in-person meeting if your schedule allows that, Okay. So by doing this, um, you automatically start uh, weeding out the people who are a little bit more serious and they're, uh, they're definitely wanting to be serious about interviewing a coach for their athlete, okay, for their children and uh, someone to help solve their problems in sports performance. So this is one of the first ways that I've grown because if you automatically start just giving off your prices telling a bunch of stuff that they don't even know what that means for sports performance, then, you know, I'd say at least five out of 10 times up to seven out of 10 times, um, you don't actually get a meeting with them. You don't actually get a phone call because you lead up to them to go and think about it and then come back to you or you start trying to DM the follow up. Okay. So getting everybody on a phone call right away that week is the first thing that I've done to grow my business. Uh, the next thing is, um, you know, talking about follow-ups. Somebody says, I will get, even on the phone, I will get right back to you. Um, and we will discuss as a family and see if this is a good fit for us. And you never wait for them. Okay. Um, one, when they get, uh, when you both get off the phone, you text them or, uh, text and email them saying, thank you for your phone call and your interest in my program. Um, I loved everything we talked about and I look forward to, um, discussing things more with you and getting your feedback on uh, if we can begin. So by doing this, you're showing a good concern and connection with the parent. You do want to follow up in the next day or two. All right. Uh, don't leave it up to them. Even if they are the most well-intentioned people, life happens. They have jobs. They have multiple kids. Cars can break down. House, uh, you know, pipes can break. Uh, life is just crazy. Life is busy. It is for all of us. Things slip our minds, it's going to slip their minds, no matter how much they're interested in this. So take it upon yourself to do a follow-up and reminder, okay? This is you making sure that money is not being left on the table. Um, everything else is mostly um, the systems in place I discussed in another video, uh, making sure that I had those down. And that ties into what do I even talk about in the, um, the phone interview in person, okay? Um, asking them simple questions about their athletes, leaning on, uh, making them engage with me on that kind of stuff, who referred them, and uh, what exactly they're looking for. Um, it's called a script, but it is very flexible for you to adjust it, but it does get you going. So that way you're not just kind of standing there awkwardly and uh, you don't make that good impression. And you want to make a great impression on the phone or in person. Um, so, and, and that... I'll, on its own has improved me for making sales on the phone before I even know what somebody looks like. Okay. Um, even if 90% of middle school, high school coaches, college coaches, uh, youth sports coaches and directors never give an email back. I'd say, um, one of the best ways that I've grown my business is because I always make sure I still try to reach out to them um, I follow their team's pages on social media and I still make a positive presence when they post something about their team in the offseason, in season awards. Um, and I try to leave a really good comment. This kind of makes me a community member that I'm not just there to get money. I am there to support them, even if they're not my kids yet. 
okay? Um, a lot of coaches may not do this and they're still successful, but I feel like this just gives a lot of good energy back. Um, once again, you get an impression that, okay, this guy, he, he cares about this program. They're simply just lifting weights for the third week uh, in January. He doesn't train any of them, but he's still there saying great supportive things. He's not trying to tell us what we're doing wrong. Um, and that's it. Okay. Um, and not, and I'm trying to sell myself, uh, doing everything else sells myself. Okay. So a lot of this stuff, once again, is systems, uh, showing good community support, uh, getting people, you know, on the phone call, making the sale, knowing what you're going to say and what you need to talk to, to help dig into the problem and establishing a, um, a basic solution on what you would do and how you uh, go about that. And this will help make you the authority at what you're doing. Um, and then also this is, has uh, made me eat, uh, have to offer less and less a free training session, okay? Nine out of 10 times, I don't offer a free training session anymore. People are ready to come and sign up with me because uh, the systems, everything I've done professionally as a business and my reputation for training, getting results, all supersedes people wanting to um, get a free session, get a trial. They're already kind of gunning for it. They just got to have a conversation with me to get that gut instinct and we're ready to go. Okay. So there's going to be multiple ways you can grow your business, you, can, you know, social media and all that. I've done that. Um, it works for me, but these are things that it doesn't matter if you do social media, email, all that stuff, none of it, word of mouth. Um, it'll help grow your business in place and make sure that you are successful, happy, and um, long-standing in your community for sports. Thank you for coming in today. Um, if you need to reach me, you can at any time. Just give me a text. We can set up a phone call, 210-414-3077. And you can email me also at makemoneycoachingathletes at gmail.com. Uh, we'll be talking to you the next time. I can't wait for you all to join our accelerator program so you can make money, have financial health, and then help more kids, um, you know, reach the success that they deserve. All right. Talk to you soon. See you later, guys.